rushed, it's too short, it tries way too hard. If you love the first ones, you might not want to play this one, but if you want more, then you definitely don't want to play it. G give me a minute. Okay, if you want the same characters in a game that's faster than the first, the second, and the mission pack to the first, then you might want to try this. Anyway, that was my spoiler-free review of the Commandos franchise. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Okay, I don't really have anything to discuss that contains spoilers anyway for the first or its mission packs, so I'm gonna jump straight to the second one. And even in this one, basically all I have to say is it might actually only be in one level, but definitely in the Burma one where there's that military leader that you have to fight, there's that, I don't know if it's a bug or just a weird occurrence or something, I guess it's not really faulty programming. What will happen is Basically, when I play the second one, I knock everyone out and tie them up, almost without exception. And since there are so many different levels, you know, you'd have to walk upstairs and all kinds of stuff to actually hide them all away where they wouldn't ever be found. So once the military leader arrives with all his troops, they're going to start freeing them and they're going to be running around because I'll have taken their gun or at least their ammo and there'll just be all these half-naked people running around and it just looks very very silly again technically not faulty programming they're finding a you know an ally of theirs and you know releasing him I guess what it is is basically Pyro didn't think that scenario through or something apart from that all I really have to say about the second one I guess is I love the tank level the bonus level where you get to drive a tank and shoot other tanks, that is so much fun. That's it for the second one, so moving on to the third one. It's so stupid how in one level you're like caught because the guy you worked so hard to rescue it turns out to be a double agent. And then you start off in prison only, you're not tied up and you can just, I think you can walk straight out the door. That's just stupid. I don't know if they were planning to implement something and didn't quite finish so they just had to leave him standing there not tied up but it's just really stupid and you know then you're suddenly in either an occupied town or in Germany I couldn't tell I don't or I don't and then you have to kill him in a very specific way but yeah that's basically all I had that counts for spoilers so hope you enjoyed it see you next time